Good morning, Bible journaling friends. Anne here at the Scrappy Scribe, and I am just now getting started on my <clears throat> new devotional for October because I'm just finishing up Hints and Whispers from September. It's been kind of a crazy summer for me. Um, but I have not done a video in a while, and I thought to get back into the swing of things, I would just start with um, another video on how I prep for new devotions. I did one of these, I think it was last year, um, maybe longer, I can't remember, and um, it seemed to get a good reception, so I thought I would do an updated one now that I'm a little further into doing these By the Well for God um, studies. And I've been doing By the Well for God studies for um, just over two years. I started in September of 2021, and now it's October of 2023, um, and I've been doing them every month. Now, I don't always um, get the artwork done for every day, um, but I do love these devotionals. So let me just go ahead and get going because I can tend to ramble. So um, for October, the kit is fit for the master's use. And um, I just opened mine up a couple days ago and I started organizing things. And then this morning I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do another prep video. So the first thing that I like to do is choose um, some highlighters that go with the theme of the kit. So these are the colors that I have chosen for this month. And then the very first thing, I like to always write the month and year in the corner of my devotional. I wasn't doing that at first and then I found that I would forget which month I did which devotionals. And if I wanted to look back on them for some reason, it was more difficult because I couldn't remember what year was that or what month or. So um, this helps, especially like right now, it's easy to go back and pull October of 2022 and incorporate some of that into my Bible study because I've got all of them marked right in the top corner and I can just flip through them. So then I open it up and um, what I like to do is go through and I won't flip through all of this because um, of copyright, but I just like to decide which one of my uh, colors I want to use for scripture verses and I'll decide which one I'm going to use to mark scripture verses. So I think um, this month I'm going to use the green. And so what I do is I go through the whole thing from beginning to end and I try to mark every single scripture verse. Now this verse is in here every month down at the bottom about meditating on the word. And so I just open the pages and I kind of scan them and I go through and I try to mark off every single verse that I find. Um, and I miss some. So I'll do this with every page. And again, I'm just going to do it with a couple of pages. But I go through and I mark them. And I'm just looking for those numbers. If I just kind of scan, if you get in the habit of just looking for numbers, you'll start to find those scripture verses um, stand out. So I'll do that and I'll go all the way to the end of the book. And then after I've gone all the way through the book, I'll go back to the beginning and I'll scan it a second time just to look through and just kind of look through for numbers. Are there any numbers? And, um, oh, see, I missed one. Now, this doesn't have the actual verse. It's just talking about 2 Peter chapter 1, but I still like to mark them. Anything that has a chapter or verse number, I like to go through and mark. Um, it's just a great quick reference for me when I pick my devotion up in the mornings to know which scriptures I'm going to be reading. And you can either read all of those ahead of time or you can read them as you're going through your devotion each day. So as you come to it, you can read it. Or you can choose to read all your scriptures ahead of time for your Bible reading that morning and then read your devotion. So whichever way works best for you. <laughs> so I do that through the whole book, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, I have a bit of a frog in my throat. I think allergies have been really bad this year. <clears throat> so I will finish doing that later. And I will show you real quick my hints and whispers. Um, so my verses are all um, done. And I did them in brown last, last month, <clears throat> this month, kind of September kind of fell into October because I've had so much going on. <clears throat> so um, 
then I have a second color that I use to highlight um, the things that I want to take away. All right. <clears throat> and then something that I started doing probably the third month, so September, October, November, <coughs> when I first started doing these devotions, this wide margin, which this month, actually, there were a couple of pages that were printed really close to the edge on mine. Um, I started using this margin for my final takeaway. And I'll write that just along this margin here. And it's really nice because if I'm going back and reviewing this devotion, I can easily flip right here. See, there's those narrow pages right there. I think it just got a little off center on the printer. But I can go through and easily flip through here. And by looking at these, um, I can see what that day was about. So I like to go back and look things up sometimes if I'm studying a certain page in my journaling Bible that I've journaled on before and say I want to go back or why did I write that or whatever or how does that cross reference into what I'm doing now with this current devotional it's nice to be able to just flip through. Even though you have this at the top there's something about when you flip through here I think it's hard to see this plus this has more information here. Um, so that's just something I do. It may not be for everybody, but I find this is super helpful because I can flip through like this. <clears throat> so that's in doing it. So first I go through, I highlight, and I do that at the very beginning like I just did. And then as I'm studying each day, I highlight the things and then I do my questions and then I do a takeaway right here on the edge. Very helpful for me, might not be for everybody. <clears throat> I do try to finish every devotional book before I start a new devotional book. Um, it doesn't always happen. I had a couple of months last year when my mom passed away that I did not get the book done for that month. And rather than try to catch up, I went ahead and started the current month's study so that I could be um, studying the same thing the other girls from By the Well for God were studying. Because I like to be able to read other people's insights on Instagram and things. And so I just felt like I was getting too far behind. So I do have a couple of books that I need to go back and catch up on, which winter time is great for that because I'm not outside as much. If I'm sitting there with a hot chocolate on the sofa, I can grab an old book and um, go back through it. <clears throat> so that's on my book. Now, <coughs> then there's the actual um, kit. And some of the things in here, I do buy a couple of additional things when I get my kit. Um, when I first started by the Well for God, I only bought what came in um, the bag. I just bought the initial kit. And I've already taken my stamps and put them in my little storage holder. Um, and as I got more into doing the studies, I would buy additional things. Now, you don't have to do that. If you buy only what's in this bag and you just get the devotional kit, there is plenty in there. Um, I did this for my first couple months and there's plenty in there for you to do beautiful Bible journaling and have an incredible Bible study. And the most important thing is that devotional book, the Bible study. All right, so you get your kit. Now, as I said, there's some things in here that weren't in the kit. For example, the miniature stickers were not in the kit. Um, and I bought extra... Um, Oh my goodness, my mind. Extra die cuts. So I've trimmed some of these and some of these I haven't. But here's what I like to do. Um, let's start with the die cuts. <clears throat> I put the die cuts in the bag and because opening and closing, I kept it closed until I started. But once I get ready to start working on it, I like to trim this off the top. And I know some people put all their die cuts in a little bowl. Um, and I do that sometimes as well, but right now my dish on my desk actually has the October devotional from last year. So I'm kind of working on that because I was doing a tag book I didn't finish. I think it was October, maybe it was November. <clears throat> anyway, these are also great. Like lately I have been, I've just been traveling so much. Um, my dad's been in the hospital. Many of you already know that. <clears throat> and so I have not dumped a lot of things out because they've been with me. This one just came in for me. I have trimmed around some of these. I haven't trimmed around others. But I, I kind of divide them up. So like on this one, you know, I have little things on this side and I have florals on this side. So I leave this little card in here. 
Um, this one's not trimmed yet, so it's on the wrong side. <laughs> But I just kind of have some sort of, usually when you, um, if you get both sets of die cuts, or sometimes even with one set, you'll have some things that are florally, and then you'll have other things that are items that kind of coincide with the devotional. And so I like leaving this in here, and then I can put them all in one little packet, and I can drop that down into my little bag. Okay, now these were extras, the little mini stickers, and I get these um, on occasion because I have little miniature Bibles that I'm working on as gifts, and then sometimes I'll use these in my large Bible. Then there's the little watercolor card, and you usually have journaling cards. And so I have all my little journaling cards and my sticker in here, and then I like to pull this out and I did get, uh, it was a goodie bag or an extra, oh, I think it was the thank you gift. The thank you gift this month was extra, extra watercolors. But I like to put all of my cards, like journaling cards and watercolor cards down in one packet. And then I do the same thing. I just cut the top off of there so I don't have to deal with this sticky flap all the time. And then I drop those down in my bag. Now, the, the reason I'm doing it this way is because if you're on the road or you're traveling and, you know, holidays are coming and that kind of thing, it's nice to have your stuff organized in this little um, bag. Through the two years I've been doing this, there's been a lot of trips to um, parents' houses and um, weekend away vacations, things like that. I can grab this little bag and my journaling pens and my Bible and I'm ready to go. Um, when I know I'm going to be home for a while, then I'll leave stuff spread on my desk more. I like to take my little um, markers and put them on the card, the thank you card that came with the kit. And I just drop that down and that helps keep these from getting lost. I just drop those down in there. Um, I keep the backs from the sticker packs or the stamp packs, whatever it may be. And um, eventually I will cut these out because you don't wanna throw these away. Like you can use these. And I actually cut out the teeny, teeny, tiny ones from the sticker packet. Um, I'm kinda of crazy like that, but I, I did. I bought both sticker packs this month, so I combined them into one. And again, same thing. I'm gonna cut this off the top just because it makes it so much easier to get in and out of here. And on this one, I did buy the extra sticker packs with this one. You have the ones that come with it. <clears throat> and then I bought extras. Um, I just love these transparent stickers because you can put them in your Bible and it doesn't um, completely cover <clears throat> the scripture. I put all of these in here and I leave the cardboard backer <clears throat> and I may cut this out or I may use this piece as a background or something like that. <clears throat> And I slide this down in here. <coughs> and then I have my book. And I slide this down in here. So <clears throat> right now I have my book, my stickers, my die cuts, my watercolors, my journaling cards. Everything's in this little bag. I can pick this little bag up. I can take my Bible. And with my pens and a water brush, I'm set to go. Okay. <clears throat> now, I do have some other things that I like to get, and primarily the two things that I really love to get are the tile letters. And so I keep those on my desk, and I have all of them from the different kits on my desk in a little organizer. This is just my pens. So I have my waterproof pens, and I have my highlighters, and then I have some um, watercolor. Um, they're like gelatos, these art media, art crayons. <clears throat> And then I have my organizer. And my organizer has my tools in it. And then in the back, I have stamps that I think I might be using for that. And so I'll put in the stamps. Um, right now, since I'm still working on Hints and Whispers, I had a few in the front. But then I have my, my new stamps um, in the back here. And those will move forward. And then other stamps will get put away in storage when I'm done. I keep things in here um, that are my basics, my scissors, my glue, my distress brushes, my tiny attacher, 
Um, and then these are my labels and tile letters. Um, let me see down in there. And I put those in there. So those are sitting on my desk. If I decide to travel, then all I do is flip through like my tile letters here because these colors are from multiple kits over the last two years. Kits, I say kits, but they are an add-on. So I bought these as an add-on. But I'll flip through here and I'll pick two or three colors that go with the current kit. It doesn't matter what month they came from. If they go with the current kit, I'll just pull them out and drop them down in my little bag and then I can take them with me on the go. Now, um, I might have been better to turn this into multiple videos, but if you're still hanging in there with me, here's another thing that I just did. Um, usually with my... Um, I buy the, I buy the verse cards. All right. The little verse cards and let's see, let me find one here. Oh, the little verse cards look like this. This one is from hints and whispers and, um, you can write the verse on the back. You can cut this out. You can use it however you want. When I first started, um, I always wrote the verse on the back and I either, um, tipped them in with a piece of washi tape or I saved them to later maybe put on a ring. I, you know, I, I've got a bunch that I haven't used that may end up on a memory verse ring, which I think would be a great idea. Um, but what I have started doing, I went through a period where I was taking these and I would find the page in here that it went with and I would attach it to the side of the page so that when I came to that day, the card was there. That worked great. And I know a lot of people do that, but I just did something different this time, starting with hints and whispers. And so fit for the master's use is my second month, my second devotion of doing this. And what I did was I took those scripture cards and I went through um, my Bible and I went with the tiny, um, Actually, I guess I started doing it with identified because there's one right there. Um, I went through with the tiny uh, paper clips and I went directly to the verse. Now, I did all this ahead of time. So I'm just getting ready to start fit for the master's use. So I just went in and did those last night. I did these um, when I started Hence and Whispers and I decided instead of paper clipping them to my book to just turn to the verse and paper clip them into my Bible. Now, I do realize it's going to leave a little indentation there, but I figure by the time I start working on the page, that's that's going to be gone. And if it shows a little bit, I really don't care because I, I distress stuff is fine with me. So I went through and I put all these little cards. Now, those are the journaling cards, but the scripture cards, oh, oh. I know I pulled some out of my drawer that I had left over I didn't use and I stuck them in here too. So um, I have them all throughout here now. Okay. So if um, on that day when I go through and read those scriptures and there's a card on that page, then I can choose to use the card for that day's journaling or I may choose to just pull it out and set it aside. Um, or I may choose to leave it in there because I want to come back to that because you have multiple verses each day of the devotion. <clears throat> Therefore, you're going to have multiple cards for that day's devotion. You may not journal on all of those pages in your Bible, but it's kind of nice to have that card there because if you come back just because you're doing daily Bible reading or you come back for another study or something, you might find an overlap. Now, here is an example of that. Um, so I had my cards in for hints and whispers, and there were several here. Um, so I had those in here, and then when I put my cards in fit for the master's use, I had a card as well. And all of these cards are for this page. So you know, right now I have a bit of an overlap because I'm finishing up Hints and Whispers, just getting ready to start Fit for the Master's Use. I already put these cards in. I can decide 
um, when I read this page, do I want to go ahead and do something with these? Do I want to work them in? And actually, because I did this, uh, I I want to kind of go in and work these together um, because the colors go so nice together, especially these two, um, that I can work together the teachings from this scripture, which is verses 13, 14 and 15, and this is verse 16, I can work these two devotionals together on this page. Now, you know, obviously, if it's a page from a devotion you've already done, then you're not going to have that option. However, you notice that I had some pages back here from some older devotions that I haven't pulled out. Um, we just saw that follow me. I don't know where it went. Oh, or here, I think this is this identified or no. I don't know. Let me look. Um, yeah. Okay, so so here's a card from identified. Um, I gotta take my sweater off. It's getting warm. <clears throat> this one from identified that I have not journaled anything for this page, but it's still clipped in here. So um, I can come back to this at any time. And no, I have a card in here from Identified, and maybe I maybe I really want to study on humility, or I want to journal on humility. This card is right here. <clears throat> now I will say that it does get bulky when you're when you're putting those cards, and you can see too. There's not a lot of Old Testament. There are a ton of clips in the New Testament here. So the last few studies, we've had a lot of verses from the New Testament. It is going to get a little bulky with the, the little uh, clips. But I think that once you get to a certain point, and, and, and I only have so many of these little clips too, so you'll get to a certain point and you'll say, um, okay, so I'm, I'm past that study. You see, I ran out of clips, so now I have a card just laying in here in the middle. <clears throat> I'm past that, and so now I'm going to remove this one. All right, um, I did a lot of the identified I did in a spiral notebook. So my other option is I may decide, oh, you know what, I'm gonna move on, or maybe I do a devotion where I have something from this page. Let's just say that this card was from Isaiah, and it's a new study, like maybe next month or whatever. And I open this up and I go, oh, now I have a new study that comes from chapter six of Isaiah. I may slip this card out, put the new one in, and then put this one in my stash um, for later. So however you want to do it, you can also take the cards you don't use and you can put them back in the bags if you save the bags with that devotional study. Um, we'll see how this goes. So far, I have liked it because as I've gone through hints and whispers, oh, there's the one from Follow Me. As I've gone through hints and whispers, I've opened up to pages where I already had cards <clears throat> and it was nice to go oh here's more identified look at that <clears throat> it was nice to um, say oh there's there's the card <clears throat> and I'm gonna journal about this scripture <clears throat> so just a tip um, you know, it might not be for everybody. If it really bothers you to have the little clip marks on your pages, you know, well, maybe that's not the thing for you and maybe you're going to keep putting them in your devotion book. I am finding personally that by clipping these in my Bible, I am reading more scripture, okay? And <clears throat> the reason is, is that when they're clipped in my devotional, you know, you have the devotional, <clears throat> some days you have so much scripture that you might not get through all of it. Um, you know, some days the verses are in here. Okay, like here, the verse is in here. By having these in here, what's happening is I am flipping to the scriptures to see what's there. I am reading the passage, sometimes the entire chapter, and I'm just, I feel like I'm gleaning so much more um, 
you know, yes, maybe it's more reading, but it's God's word and it, it's so rich and it's so good. And I don't know, for me, um, putting these cards in here just these past few months has really helped me to dig in deeper. Um, I'll find sometimes, you know, certain verses that I go, oh, I want to go further with that. So then I'll get out my James method verse mapping and I'll do that. Whatever. Um, so it's just something to consider. It, it might not be for everyone. And, you know, here, I don't know. I just, I came this morning when I was looking at this page in particular and I went, you know, I can blend these together. The things I'm learning from both devotionals. Um, and I don't know. I just thought I'm going to share this and I'm going to see if maybe it'll help somebody else. So I've rambled long enough. Um, those are just some things that I do to prepare for my monthly devotional. The way you do things may be completely different, but for maybe some of the newbies or somebody who's struggling with how do I manage to uh, find the time to enjoy the creativity alongside the Bible study, um, what are some things that might motivate me? I'm finding that when I pick up my Bible and I have these little cards attached, the other thing is the pages will open because this is weightier. I'll open my Bible and it's like, oh, maybe God wanted me to read that at that particular moment because he knew I needed to hear that on that day. So however God uses it is great. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe you got even just a tiny little bit of something that will help you with your monthly devotional. If you like the video, please do be sure to click the like button. If you are not a subscriber at The Scrappy Scribe, please do subscribe and um, let me know what kind of videos you would like to see in the future. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed week. Bye-bye.